So to get a rundown on all the skills that I'm using in the items, first off I have a staff that uh, has plus two to all chaos spell. Wish I could have uh, more spell um, damage on it, but this is uh, what I'll, this is all I can craft at the moment. My budget total, if you guys were gonna give me some feedback on this, is probably one to five x. Uh, as you can see in my stash, I have not much at all. I don't play super often as I would like. As I'm busy creating and doing some stuff and you know life so a rundown of my items I have this uh, great crown I have it for mainly to have a plus two well, plus one to my um, arctic breath and the wither along with my spell totem and multi totem and the, the um, I wanted it to cover a lot of my res especially my chaos and since it has all four, might as well. I just decided to get that. I, w I know you might think, you know, why not get a life one instead? But I just wanted a plus one and also the res on this helmet for my six slot, uh, six uh, link armor. It's just a basic one. Life and res, belt, life and res, life and res speed for the boot. I have my defense, mortal call, phase, uh, phase run. Cast when damage is taken, and my flame dash. That's for the defense for that. And as for my vixen glove, I have I have four curse on this. Temp chain for sure, despair and enfeeble. Not to mention elemental weakness. I am a bit iffy if I should keep that, but I like to use it because I have the um the vortex and the cold snap to go along with it not to mention the utter breath I'm hoping that will help um, reduce some of the uh, or not reduce that's up the DPS if anything okay now as for the Bane I have the Bane efficiency control destruction swift uh, void and Warlord's Mark. So currently I have, let me go into my skill tree again, um, this is what I have my overall skill tree. Check out my Ascendancy, I have Void Beacon and Witherin, I have Profane and Benediction. So one curse plus one curse, that's two. One other curse Whispering of Doom, so that's uh, three curse, and then I have glove four and this necklace, sorry amulet, which is five curse. So this is why I have all four here, and this warlord's mark right there. According to some some uh, YouTube uh, video that I've watched, one guy say he kind of prefer three curse minimum to do more um, damage so he normally put all his three curse right here maybe he'll go one more but he does mainly do three and then he doesn't go for beyond three so this is why again I'm reaching out to you guys to see uh, if it's you know if it's good for me to go five curse or just maybe I should change this to something else so I have yeah this that's what I have for this and I have the weathering the weather, of course, the weather, weather, oh gosh, pronunciation here. The weather, of course, to help um, decrease the, or decrease and up the damage the enemies take for the, for the Bane and Chaos damage. Uh, let's see. Some of you guys might be wondering, why the hell do I have Vortex, Arctic Breath, and Cold Snap? So... When I'm running around, I'm doing Bane here, Bane there, Bane everywhere, and sometimes enemies pop up right underneath me, so I just use this to buy myself some time to freeze them, or maybe hopefully they shatter. And then, of course, I have the Arctic Breath and the Wither 
on my um, totem. It's just in hopes to do some distraction for the enemies. And also, of course, this is for reducing the de uh, debuff and also to up my damage for the Bane. But I'm, I'm just hoping Arctic Breath will distract them a little bit. I know, I know, I could use the, the decoy totem, but I decided to go with the Arctic Breath just to have some damage over time. Hopefully it'll help. And as for the Cold Snap, um, uh, the same person that I was watching stated that Bane has a 4 second cooldown or something like that. What he means by that is when you cast Bane, say this is an enemy right here, you cast Bane on the enemy, it, I can't go around and keep doing this, spamming Bane on that same enemy to lower their life. Is actually cast one time and you have to wait 4 seconds before you can do another Bane on that uh, character or enemy. So that's why I decided to go with a cold snap on uh, Vortex. So I would do the um, Bane, maybe I'll do the, the um, cold snap and the Vortex, hoping, this is for me, I'm hoping that I'll reduce their life more and also some more DPS. Um, doing some tests, I, I'm not sure if I'm seeing it or not, sometimes the enemies dies too fast. I'm, Right now I'm going to try to do it more on some bosses. I want to use it for mainly single targets like those yellow, the unique bosses or the the big the bosses that has a lot of life. I'm hoping that will help uh, with my DPS and damage over time to draw their life down even more. If not, if you guys have a, a different opinion or a recommendation, I'll gladly take that. So, that's my rundown of why I have all of these skills currently, and if you guys feel there is something else I should be using apart from Cold Snap, Vortex, and uh, maybe I should attach something else on instead of using Arctic Breath, uh, give me some info, even a link and a little bit explanation in the description why and how it will help increase my DPS. Currently, currently, as you see, my damage is uh, 62,000. Some of the videos that I've watched in have guys that has uh, like 200 or 100. I wouldn't mind being at uh, 100,000 or beyond that. My level right now is 83, so I'm not fully maxing out these gems as yet. So we'll see how far how far I can go with this. Okay, time for some map and to have a demonstration on how how I do how I execute all of these stuff while in the map.
crap, I'm stuck in the freaking statue! I can't believe that happened. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I, I'm actually surprised I didn't freaking die. Anyway, that's how I normally play. So overall, that's pretty much what I have for this build. So these items, like um, if you guys have any suggestion, uh, um, my budget that I think, well you guys see my budget right? I don't have much. I could maybe farm around to try to get maybe 1 to 5x. I have um, my old characters. Maybe I can sell some gears to get, like, like I said, 1 to 5x is maybe my limit of stuff that I can get. Uh, 10, that's going to be too, too much for me to try to get. So, again, if you guys know anything, a way to improve this bill. Uh, just let me know maybe if, if if anything some if you guys think maybe the vortex is not good to have or maybe the cold snap I could uh, swap it out for something you guys feel that's uh, more reasonable to up my DPS but right now I'm not sure what I don't know every mechanics and um, phew, gems and skills and whatnot in the in path that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any comments or whatnot, just leave it in below and I'll read it up. And I'll make the adjustments based on you guys' comment and then I can uh, give you guys an update with another video or I'll just put it in the same comment that you guys have there. Thanks!